everyone <coughs> today we are going to uh, discuss about content hugging priority <coughs> and uh, how this uh, content hugging priority is useful for implementing user interface so uh, before i start uh, let me uh, brief about uh, content hugging priority uh, basically this content hugging priority is associated with each and every control that you you are going to use in your uh, user interface and uh, this content hugging priority uh, is uh, used for setting the priority of that particular control based on the horizontal and vertical uh, settings so here first we are going to take one button okay <clears throat> that is button one and uh, Change this background that is hundred by hundred. Let's let's take another button. That is hundred by hundred. Let's keep it with white. Okay. Initially, it's width is uh, 155. This is also 155. Now, let's set one constraint that is top and leading constraint for button 1 and for button 2 let's set trailing constraint and top constraint and uh, let's give horizontal spacing to it so at this point we can observe over here content priority ambiguity okay so keep that thing in mind we are going to resolve this issue using proper priority setting of control so let's first check priority of button 1 so here we are observing that uh, content hugging priority <coughs> is uh, one, 250 for uh, horizontal and 250 for vertical and same for button 2 content hugging priority is uh, 250 horizontal and 250 vertical okay that is good now let's first run this and check whether uh, how it is going to set button 1 and button 2 so here we are seeing that button 1 is this button 2 is this okay so now let's set content hugging priority of button 1 from 250 to 249 okay and uh, so here you observe that uh, content hugging priority ambiguity is uh, uh, disappear so let's first update what frame and run again okay. okay so here you can see that uh, button 1 is stretching itself when I change it uh, from portrait mode to landscape mode so it is just because uh, here we have set content hacking priority 249 so one thing that we should keep in mind is that if we set a content hugging priority that is less for any control then this control will stretch itself for hugging another control so here 
we have a content handling priority is 249 for button 1 so it will stretch itself and uh, for satisfying another control constraints okay and here horizontal content hugging priority is 250 so this button 2 will not be stretched because its content hugging priority is higher whose content hugging priority is lower will going to stretch itself that is the main point where that we should keep in mind whenever we want to apply some kind of logic uh, so we can use this functionality which is provided by apple for uh, setting up our ur controls so same way here let's keep it 250 for button 1 and 249 for button 2 okay now at this point button 2 is having content hugging priority that is less and button 1 is content hugging priority higher so at this point if we are running our application then we can see that okay so button 2 this content hugging priority is lesser so it will stretch button 2 and button 1 will keep it as it is because its content hugging priority is higher so this is all about content hugging priority